What's up guys, Chris here. So here's an update on the garden. Don't forget to like and share this video and if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys. Alright guys, so we'll start on the border. Got some mint there, some chocolate mint, some peppermint, chocolate mint. Something new I've done, I planted a whole bunch of garlic and uh, some wildflowers, some perennials, garlic there. Garlic here, garlic, some more mint. And these are all on the border. I did that the other last night. We should see some more chocolate mint, some chocolate mint, peppermint, chocolate mint, chocolate mint. So uh, some the garlic goes all the way down. And these are just my mints. Probably got about 40 or 50 uh, cherry tomatoes and probably about 15 beef steaks out of this one. I did do some trimming needs again, but planted some little basil through here all on the sides. Spearmint, chocolate mint, peppermint, peppermint, spearmint, some peppers, and then I planted some basil in here because it ran out of spots. But this, these are all hot peppers here my mulberry bushes one day there'll be a tree another mulberry it's got some mulberries on it but they have to mature here's pineapple sage it's been in here for a little over a year um, very big and lush um, here's some okra more okra some spearmint I put there Another spearmint. Got some ruby red cabbage. Regular cabbage, regular cabbage. And that's another ruby red. Got about, I don't know, 16, 20 jalapeno pepper plants through here. Got a cabbage that's starting to head up. Nice big cabbage in there. Planted some more garlic on the border here. There are some men around. That I that just survive from picking that are in the buckets, but it's more cabbage, cabbage. So last update, I purchased uh, five lemongrass. They were eight dollars from Ace. They're over a year old though. They were just cut back. So five of those. <clears throat> I picked up about nine uh, mint plants and uh, put them in pots. Now their cabbage is starting to head up. Uh, here's a different kind of lavender, good for uh, pollinators. Come find what is that? It's like a ladybug. Uh, Brassica family. Got some chamomile. Got some broccoli there. Needs to be picked. <clears throat> broccoli that should have been picked. One of the mints I purchased and, and put it in a bigger pot. You got a uh, type of sage there. Some more garlic down here. Some more broccoli. I picked up a, a lavender. This is only uh, nine something. But uh, good keep the bugs at bay or away from my collard greens. And here are about six Georgia collard greens. I don't know if you see with the sun though. Um, but six of them they've been in here for about maybe 10 months or so oh, caterpillar caterpillar eating the kale i just killed him so kale here nice big stems to it another lavender three of these lavenders i put in here with potting soil and topsoil at the bottom another kale uh, i planted garlic through here all the onions i have i put in garlic all through so nice. These are red onions here. These are red onions. Uh, here are my lemongrass plants. They've been in here for a year. Nice and big, lush, healthy for you. Good for making tea. This is Mary. Nice aroma to it. But nice rosemary plant.
banana pepper, just a chocolate mint to repel any pests, mint or peppermint or sweet mint. Uh, two more banana pepper, sweet, some more broccoli and chocolate mint. Or planted garlic down here on the border. Some more broccoli. Squeeze through here. Some more garlic. Put some uh, basil there. Variety. I'm not sure what time, type it is. So uh, raspberry bush. Hopefully it comes back. I had too much soil around it. But uh, leveled it all out. Last update, the blueberry bush wasn't as big. But uh, it's definitely greened up for spring. Nebraska family. Some basil all through here. I did pick most wildflowers, but there were some left. Oh, basil's on that side. Oh, I see. Alright. So we got a oregano Italian. Got some in here. And then uh, over here. And some parsley. Going to flower. Must be a two year run on it. And more some more mint. More mint. There's about seven parsley plants here. Broccoli. Japanese giant mustards here. Got some more collards that are starting to grow real nice. Nice ladybug there. Nice predator, sweating already. <sighs> More collards. That's a brassica there. And the cabbage. Got some wildflowers there, I see. But uh, some lavender. These all need to be picked. What's that? Yeah, wildflower again. Here's my other uh, lemongrass plant. Nice and lush. Had it in here for about six, I mean, eight to 12 months or a year. Here's a variety of just jalapeno peppers. Um, that I had in pots, but they definitely have grown in some size. Update, there was really nothing here, but here's my uh, stevia plant, high in sugar. It's about 20 times sweeter than any sugar, but uh, good for you. Tabasco pepper plant. The one over there is a lot more peppers on it, but uh, Still kicking. Sage under here. Got the jalapenos. Bunch on there. Not so much the other one. But kale that I've had over a year. It's really starting to take off. Got Georgia collards here. Starting to grow finally. Now in my ear. I got them. Got another lemongrass of the five. That's one. Uh, uh, lavender. Here's a slow bolt arugula. There's a couple plants in here of that. Here's my dill. So there's four plants here. They were small when uh, last update. But nice and tall. Good for seasoning. Another mint plant. With uh, no, asparagus at the bottom. My other. My other Tabasco pepper plant. There's three in the garden. And then a bunch of okra here. Starting to set out okra. Go this way. Got some basil that survived winter. Got a parsley. Got four rosemary plants. One, two, three. Spider web. And then a little one over there. Got my collard greens here, big ones. Then we got some kale. One of the mints I picked up. They all have flowers on them. Some more okra. That needs to be tied that I forgot to tie. Uh, some more oregano, Italian. Another brassica, some mint I have here. Ruby red cabbage, another brassica, another lemongrass. 
some sweet mint or peppermint. There's got the okra here, setting fruit already. There's a lot of okra there. Man, I'm, I'm pouring sweat, guys. So I planted uh, some pineapple sage that I grew in water. And then uh, it's kind of a new area. Got some basil, some ruby red, some African uh, basil, another uh, brassica, brassica, African basil. They can withstand 30 degree weather. So basically, I'm sweating on my phone, holy cow. Uh, another basil, brassica, and then another mint. Have a kale, got a large uh, tomatoes through here yellow or red onions grown from seed got some bell peppers got a cilantro I don't think my arugula is doing too well but maybe it's not season uh, cilantro tomato plant that survived the winter it's grown back from down there and uh, to a cherry tomato some scallions or shallots a green onion and some uh, ruby red got some Italian oregano uh, some okra that I grew from seed from okra last year and survived the winter not sure what that is but it looks like oregano I did this last night and uh, it's just a variety of basil but uh should be good Here's my large Tabasco pepper plant. Lots of Tabasco peppers on it. It's massive. But this one gets less light. And uh, I, I put some uh, cayenne peppers through here. So there's a little bit of cayenne peppers. Haven't had them yet, but they should be hot. There's some seeds of peppers, mostly sweet, with a mint. Another mint that's going to flower, so pollinators love those. Alright, so here's my celery. You break the leaf and you smell celery. But nice and lush. Likes the less sun, moist soil. Some more collards. More collards here. Got some oregano that I grew from seed. Basil that survived the winter. And then some baby uh, parse or uh, celery then my grew from seed was a uh, thyme so thyme down there we have some margarine two plants of those this one I grew from seed all right so we have variety basils all through here this uh, lemon balm was was just a cutting and I put it in there and it grew like that it's over a year old just basils this is a eggplant, only one that survived, but nice growing well. Pumpkin! Come here, pumpkin! Right. So we got some kale, some basil, basil, lemon basil, some more kale, kale. I'm sweating on my phone. Here's African basil that I was telling you about. It can survive 30 degree weather. I'm going to propagate it in some water and plant it someplace. This kale leaves. This uh, wet or globe spice basil didn't do too well. Some more okra over here. Alright guys, so I've been self-pollinating the eggplant. You probably got about six, six or eight eggplant in here. But uh... See over here. So that doesn't work too well. But six to eight eggplant in there, ready to be eating some of them. My bulb onions and shallots or scallions. I have tons of green onions in the freezer. But uh, put on some garlic, they're starting to come up in between, fight bugs or something. Basil that I grew in water and planted it out here. Another cilantro. Red onion with some garlic planted in between. Got some rosemary that I grew in water from cuttings and survived pretty well. 
Got some oregano, another lemongrass, and the other side of the collards. There's some wildflowers I couldn't see because they were too small. But now that they're growing taller, we'll be able to pick them. So we got a lemon balm. These two plants have been in here for over a year, and then that one and that one are newer. What type of broccoli this is, but it never produced broccoli. But I'm just leaving it here for uh, pollinators, predators to come by. Chamomile flowers. Looks like it needs to be staked in a way. But chamomile. And then here's the other side of the basil um, from that side I planted. They're just a variety. Pepper plants, mostly jalapenos. The sage tree is starting to bloom its flowers, or has been blooming its flowers. The queen is dug here and Freddy's over there. Cabbage and then some carrots. Then we just have some tomatoes off in the distance over there. Alright guys, that's the garden update. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day. Peace.